Vaccines used in national immunization programs are safe and effective if used correctly. However, no vaccine is risk-free and adverse events can occur after a vaccination. If someone develops a severe allergic reaction immediately after vaccination, one that could even become life-threatening, it is important to know how to respond immediately. An initial mild allergic reaction can quickly progress to anaphylaxis and become life-threatening, so you will need to be prepared to treat it. In this video, we will show you how to prepare for an anaphylactic reaction, how to identify the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis, and how to treat a patient who is having a severe allergic reaction. When preparing for an immunization session, First, make sure you have access to an AFI kit, which includes medication and equipment. And second, that you and other immunization staff are trained and able to recognize and manage anaphylaxis. Check your AFI kit to ensure that it includes the following medication and equipment. Adrenaline has a short shelf life, so monitor the kit three or four times a year to make sure the adrenaline is still good. Write the expiry date of the adrenaline on the outside of the AEFI kit. Discard any adrenaline if it has a brown tinge once withdrawn in a syringe. To identify an acute allergic reaction after vaccination, look for the signs and symptoms. They usually occur 5 to 60 minutes after vaccination. Early signs of an allergic reaction may include generalized skin itch, generalized rash, which would include hives or swelling of the face or body. You may observe changes in the nose or eyes, such as a blocked or runny nose, sneezing, or red and itchy eyes. Or signs may involve the abdomen, such as nausea, vomiting, or stomach pain. Mild symptoms may progress to anaphylaxis. Anaphylaxis causes obstruction of the airways and or low blood pressure or shock. The signs of anaphylaxis include noisy breathing, difficulty swallowing or talking, difficulty breathing, low blood pressure, or collapse. Most people with anaphylaxis have a rash, breathing difficulties, and or low blood pressure. They may experience dizziness or collapse. Only a small number, less than 10%, may have a sudden drop in blood pressure without any other symptoms. Once you have assessed the initial symptoms and suspect anaphylaxis, treat the person immediately by following these steps. If you have any doubt about whether it is a stress-related response or anaphylaxis, treat it as anaphylaxis. Lay the person down on their back, if they are not already, with their knees bent or their legs elevated. If the person has difficulty breathing, have them sit up slightly. Do not allow the person to stand up or walk. Check their airway, breathing, and circulation. If they are already unconscious, position the person in recovery position and keep their airway clear. Administer CPR if necessary. Give the person an injection of adrenaline, 1 to 1,000, by deep intramuscular injection into the limb opposite the one where the vaccine was administered, or in the muscle of the upper lateral thigh. In general, for a child, you would inject the upper lateral thigh. Adrenaline stimulates the heart and reverses the spasm and swelling in the lung passages. It reduces the loss of fluid from blood vessels, raises blood pressure, and stops the release of chemicals that cause anaphylaxis. It is important to administer the correct dosage. 
If you give a dose that is too high or cumulatively give someone too much adrenaline, you could cause harm, such as irregular heartbeat or heart failure. Use a dose of 0.01 milliliter per kilogram up to a maximum of 0.5 milliliters. If you do not know the person's weight, you may use this approximate guide to determine the dosage. Repeat the same dose of adrenaline every 5 to 10 minutes if symptoms continue, up to a maximum of 3 doses. You may give oxygen by oral nasal mask if it is available. After the first injection of adrenaline, call for professional help but never leave the patient alone. If you have others helping you, someone may call for professional assistance even sooner. After the first injection of adrenaline is administered, you should also inform the AFI focal point by phone even before the AFI reporting form is submitted. Record the vital signs such as pulse rate and blood pressure as well as the time you recorded them. Record the exact dose of any medication given. When an ambulance or professional help arrives, be sure to share your records with the new care team. Once the patient is stable or transferred to the hospital, document the event by completing and submitting an AFI report form within 24 hours. Those are all the steps for treating anaphylaxis. One more thing to consider is that throughout treatment, there may be other people nearby watching and becoming worried. If possible, and when you are not tending to the patient, move these additional people to another location. Calmly reassure them that the medical team is equipped to handle cases like this. You should now know how to prepare for an anaphylactic reaction, how to identify the signs and symptoms of anaphylaxis, and how to treat a patient who is having a severe allergic reaction.